Hey everybody, Kelly again, and I want to talk today in this video about the KB Core Squeeze Page functionality. Now, if you haven't already, look below, give me some comments after you watch the video, tell me what you thought about it. If you're a KB Core user now and you're needing some help and you want to see how to dominate not only your KB Core, but dominate every aspect of lead generation, then there's a special link below to the BKU University. And in that university, we have got a complete video walkthrough course on everything KV Core, how to set it up the proper way, and then ads that you can use to generate leads on your social media sites with documentation and evidence and drip campaign contents that you can put within your KV Core. And this information on the site will be updated weekly. We will give you access to things that are working right now to generate the most amount of attention and leads for your business. So check that link out below. There's a special going on right now with it. And if you're ready to dominate KV Core lead generation, you ought to take a look at it. All right, let's get started. Right now I want to talk about the IDX squeeze, squeeze page functionality. So let's get started. We went to lead engine. We're looking at IDX squeeze. We're going to pick a domain and we're going to start building. Now I'm going to start with market reports. What you're going to do is you're going to add your city, county, or zip here. You're going to page configure it. So for this, I always put Facebook. For hashtags on this market report, I'm going to send them to sellers or buyers. So if, if I'm going to create this ad specifically for buyers to let them know what's going on in the area, I'm going to hashtag them to a buyer drip campaign. So once I do all of that, I'm going to generate the link. Oh, I didn't put the city in. Well, I'm not going to do that because I've already done it. But once you put all this information in, you generate the link, it's going to take you here to the market report. Now, for this one, I did Claremont, Florida. So here's what it looks like, guys, if you've done it properly. It's got a map of Claremont. It tells you what homes are for sale in the city, what's the average home price, and then it gives you some expensive home options that are selling, some popular listings, recent stuff. All of that is in the market report, and you can literally share this URL on your social media sites or in an email, right? So on the next one, we're going to talk about a seller squeeze page. Same type of thing. You're going to put the source, Facebook, Google, wherever you're going to send this advertising to, you want KV Core to be able to track it. Now, if I'm going to create a seller squeeze page for um, a buyer, I'm going to put in here a buyer hashtag that's going to start a drip campaign. So for this one, if I wanted to do a Z buyer, uh, send this out to all my Z buyer people, as soon as they click the link and do what the link asks them to do for subscribing, it's going to automatically enroll them onto my drip campaign for that buyer source. Okay, when we're all done, you're going to hit generate link, and this is what it's going to look like. So remember, guys, we're doing a seller squeeze right there, and it's going to tell them a little bit more about what's going on in their market. All right, for single property, you're going to do the same thing. Whatever your source is, again, we're probably going to, most of us are going to do Facebook ads, hashtag, the listing ID is really interesting. So what you're going to do is you're going to find a home that you want to do a single page. In this instance, I'm using this home. Copy the MLS number, go back into here and put it there. And then when you're done, hit generate link, and this is what it's going to look like. There's the page. Now you can share this page on organic Facebook uh, pages, on groups for free, and if anybody goes in and starts clicking around, by the second click, it's gonna ask them to register if they wanna see more. So again, utilizing this, or you could set it up as a paid advertising on Facebook. So let's look at the last one. This would be something you're gonna use a lot, and this is multi-property. So you're, it's gonna ask you for the area that you wanna go ahead and pull the data from, What's the listing you want to do? So just follow all of this information down to the bottom. Get as detailed as you want. Uh, where are you going to be advertising this on? I'm going to be on Facebook. Who am I advertising to that I want to start a drip campaign? Uh, am I going to do this for sellers, for buyers, whatever? Facebook cover, I always go with listings from search results. And then when I'm done, I'm going to hit generate link, and this is what it's going to look like. So guys, this is a page that you can share on your social media accounts. You can use this in advertising. You can use this on Facebook Marketplace. Um, so there it is right there, guys. And I've got mine set up to do a grid. 
But there it is right there. All 125 homes in Claremont, Florida that are between 150 and 300 K um, that are single families. So there it is right there, guys. And you can take this link and share it directly to your social media. So that is a quick preview of setting up your IDX squeeze pages. And guys, if you want to take this to the next level and learn how to take this data and drop it into some high converting ads, make sure you go below the video and check out the link that we've got set up for you. It's $50 a month. Let me just say that right now so you're not, oh, what's it going to be? What's It's 50 bucks a month. There's no contract. And you're going to get everything you need to set up and dominate your KV Core to use it at its fullest and to take that information over into Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Google Paper Clip, however you're going to do your ad, we are going to walk you through with videos, including the content on ads we're currently using to generate high volume of leads that are the most opportune type of buyer or seller leads you could want. And we're going to show you how to get them into your KV Core and start getting some closings. All right, guys, I'll leave it at that. Don't forget, go and look at the information on the bottom. Drop me some contents. Let me know what you thought about the video and if it was helpful. All right, I will see you on the other side.